John Hughes was on this film, and um, a very interesting premise in that it's about and they're doing it now where you expose people to what they're afraid of their phobia right mm -hmm. and um so my phobia was of being raped and i'll i'll never forget this part because i had to stand up to john houston mm -hmm. uh they and they now in the union in canada have a, a policy about this in the agreement that you know they have to tell you uh in the breakdown and they have to show you the script that there's nudity uh -huh. because so you didn't know i i i didn't know it wasn't the script and my agent this is time, a big deal here this is this is huge, huge. deal this is this is huge. Um, he gets a call from the casting director saying, "Well, there's going to be a bathroom bathtub scene, and uh, there's going to be a flash of a breast, and Lisa's going to be nude." So you know everyone's intimidated by John Houston. So my <laughs> agent tells me that, and I'm saying, "Well, they didn't tell me that." So I went to John up to John Houston because yeah. I had to really like, oh my God, you know, I, I wasn't planning on ever taking off my clothes. You right. Know? Okay. What will my parents say? So, because um, my dad didn't want me to be an actor anyway. Right. So, um, I got the nerve to go up to John Houston and, come <laughs> in and say, you know, Catherine Hepburn would never do any nudity. <laughs> wow. And he said, for me, she would. By the time that happened, I guess people didn't want to see her. Maybe she would have been happy to do it. I have to you about having the, the series of older women in Playboy. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a great hey. yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Very, 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 very uh, I think, uh, interesting. Now, you worked with uh, so, Paul, Paul Michael. Yeah, yeah, but but can I tell you oh, yeah, the story? Oh, yeah, please. So this was very hard for me to stand up to these people. Yeah. So I said, look. So then so then they said they were going to get a stand-in for it. And I, knew, I felt manipulated because I'm looking at this stand-in. <laughs> and she's got this huge mole right here. Oh. 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 And I'm thinking, like, Wait, they pick like, her up from the corner and like, hey, are you standing right. in for Lisa? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is not Hollywood. This is not Hollywood, right? Oh my God. So I'm thinking, I don't want somebody to think that's my body. <laughs> so the vanity comes yeah. in. Yeah. But on the other side, the artist came in because oh. I've been, you know, I'd started out working with French actors, and I'll never forget. You know, work, working with Isabelle Dupin, like they think nothing about this, like drinking wine, like I'm taking my clothes off. Yeah. So I thought oh, I should be an artiste. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 So, so there was that. Easy. There was that element. There was John Houston doesn't need to be salacious. He's John Houston. He doesn't have to express. Right. He's not people. absolutely. So there was that. Like so, I was mm -hmm. I was rationalizing everything, and then there was also the vanity, like she's gonna be my body double. You know, mm -hmm. and I th and the artiste saying they're gonna know it's a body double because they see this big mole here and I don't have one. So I said, I'll tell you what. Was there hair on the mole? <laughs> <laughs> that's a dead giveaway. You know, that, 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 that's very funny because in one of my commercials that I did, uh, it was just a close up of my mouth on this popcorn commercial, and they called my mother and they were asking her all these questions like, well, does she have any hair around? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Scottish family, and they have a very, they have a sense of humor. And she said she was always telling the family, "Well, I wanted to tell them she doesn't have any hair on her, uh, above her mouth, but she's got a few in her rear end." <laughs> 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 and and so it, so anyway, I said, "Tell you what," I said, um, "Let you shoot it the way you want to." I'm saying this to John Houston. <laughs> oh, wow. That's crazy. I, I, I must have been young. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I'm still going, understand. I'm going. I'm still going to university, so I'm doing yeah. my political science essay. I'm giving it to the AD to say, "Can you mail it today?" Uh, because it's due today and it has to be postmarked. But it. So that's what I'm doing. And and so we had that in common. Like you know, John Houston and I would talk about because he's very erudite, as you know. Right, right, right. And um, so so I said, okay. Way you, you tell them he can shoot it the way he wants, and if I don't like it, <laughs> it's not in the film. Wait, wait. Uh, wow! I, wait, wow. you said you said I told my agent, and that was in it put in the contract. No I way! Believe it. I can't Fantastic. believe it now. I can't believe it now. Do you still have that contract? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah, I have my, a letter from Joan Houston. 
So, for, for oh, immigration. so you got oh, nice. final cut say for that scene. As to, you got yeah. to look at your nudity so, 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 final and say. So, so, so no, but it didn't look like. See, he wanted what he described to me was not the way it looked. Uh-huh. I agreed with the way it, it, he he said it was, he said it was going to be high up above, okay. like looking down onto this floating nude body, that yeah. looked very vulnerable. Sure. And it was very um, disinfected, you know, mm-hmm. hospital. Sure. And I agreed with that. So when I went to the rushes, as they call them in Canada, or dailies, you know, I've since learned that you have to have closed rushes for stuff like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. So everybody was there, <laughs> even the even the drivers. Oh, the drivers. I got the guy who's sweeping the floor. <laughs> hey, I got a, I got to sweep in here. What, what's here. going on? I'm a caterer. I have to be here. <laughs> You look at there like like fifty people yeah, in there. Was, yes, yes. Wow. It was loaded with people. Oh and God. and now I look back, I'm thinking maybe they, they were there because of the controversy. They couldn't have been there just because they're going to get to see me nude. Yeah. <laughs> but, Probably a little bummer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What what I didn't like about it, it wasn't overhead. It was kind of a yes. little bit at an yeah. angle so yeah. that you're looking up. As Sharon Stone would say, with the v- vagina, with a point of view. Yeah, right? well, it you had know. a point of view on the vagina. Hey, that sells tickets, you know. But, <laughs> yeah. Although I have to say, I did watch this film very recently. Yeah, and, the, did, and on, the final and, and, and that and that scene in in my in my opinion. From your point of view. My point of view is not not my vaginas. <laughs> uh, vaginas. I, 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 I'll, I'll tell you later. Okay. I'll tell That's you later. for another show. Yeah. Okay. I, I have a syndrome. Come on. Anyway. Um, but that scene does not come off salacious in any way. You're very, you're very it, vulnerable. It is very, it's still yeah. very vulnerable I know. and clinical. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. no, 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 no. And it's, it's no, it's, and it's also not beautifully shot. Like it's, we're not talking about story of O here. Like, it, you know, you want in your first nude scene to look, you know, playboy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And yeah. suddenly I'm looking like a Sally Man, like shot. And but I understand for the artistic point of view. But no, I, I, it was if it had been directly overhead shooting down, but it was like more at an angle. Right, right. So yeah. I had to say, no, it's not acceptable. And it-